So it's like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll follow this. I didn't follow it like through, like from thinking, but when I got come back, I was like, oh, that's what I was doing. So about people. So the first thing I noticed is that uh, I was very lonely in a sense. So I read, I went through this book called Never Eat Alone, which is about networking and about meeting new people. And I really liked it, and I totally recommend in a sense of you make a list of people you match. Because if I just get to, what, what's your name? Anik. Sorry? Anik. Anik. So if I just random say, Anik, let's do a business together. You're like, you don't know me. It's like, no, but I think you're cool. I heard good things about you. It feels kind of weird. But, uh, Anik, would you have time for a coffee? Like, you eat, right? So can I interrupt you at lunch a little bit? So you can like just meet a lot of people because everybody eats and it doesn't feel like you're stealing their time. So that was a, a big hint. Because if I invite people for a meeting, they would refuse me very often. But I was like, can we just have lunch? I'll go to your office, I'll go close to your office, just go down. And I could meet a lot of interesting people. I could meet people from Facebook, I could meet people from Google, that uh, I saw in the event or I met before. Maybe somebody introduced me to them, or maybe they are gonna hang around live and nice with them. So that's kind of like the, the best networking tip I can give. Uh, the second one's like event seminar workshops. Just if, if you're looking to find a job, like just go to a bunch of them. And, and it feels, sometimes feels very tiring. So give yourself, learn about like ignoring sunk costs. So sometimes you might pay you don't say into an event. And in 30 minutes inside the event, you're like, oh, I, it just, doesn't make like I'm not gonna meet anyone interesting here. Just doesn't work. Just go home. It's gonna be better than just be there meet them. <laughs> but I do go to like meetups and other stuff with people who want to open companies as well, like startups. What I say is uh, one thing that helped me a lot is sometimes doing events by myself. So I would just tell my friends, okay, uh, I was at recruit. I like, I want to do this dinner with people who want to do their own business. And I would invite maybe one or two and ask them to invite a few other friends and we would do like a 12 people, big table. One engineer, a designer there, something sometimes, even if that guy is not the designer that's going to join you, you know somebody who is a designer, now they can introduce other designers because people do live into their own, own fields as well. And I got a lot of introductions from doing these small dinner parties just very close. I, I, I wouldn't get more than 10, 12 people. Because I wasn't like promoting. I was just like asking, okay, Bryce, Santa Sun, do you think anyone interesting? Just be cool to hang out with us. And that was very good. I could meet very interesting people there. So. One thing that I want people to know is like anything worthwhile takes time. I really like this phrase uh, uh, that we remember one that some other people said that phrase as well. The point is, I wanted to find a team. I wanted to find people who would match way of thinking, values, right? Values are so important. And it doesn't happen overnight. It took me maybe a year to meet the people who actually... I was doing my business on the, on the, on the side. Like I was coming back from work and like tinkering, coding a little bit, doing a little bit of design. So when I met those people, I had a clear image in my head. Like, oh, I have this vision, I want to do this. But it took a lot of time, and it took several errors as well, because sometimes you think somebody's very good and it, it doesn't match. So uh, I got this theory, and I really like it, and I recommend everybody, it's the Power Ranger theory. Uh, in, in Japanese, it's just like Sentai Ranger. <laughs> but basically, to find people with different skills. So if you're an engineer, if you hang around just around engineers, you're not going to have people who do marketing. You're not going to have people who do sales. So, and it's so hard. Like I thought it was easy, but it's so hard to get because they have their own work views and things they want to do as well. So if, uh, you meet salespeople and they're like, oh, I want to start a business too and I have this other idea. It's like, no, no, come to my idea. It's, it's, it's not as easy as it, it sounds to get people who think sometimes different than you, but I, I think it's worth. Uh, 
the power ranger kind of thing. Then I went, okay, I need to create a product because I need to sell something. And the first thing that came is the values. I'm very biased to say this because I'm from design thinking and there's a uh, design thinking field and there's a lot of like, um, how can I say, let's do good for society, that kind of thing, which are my vibe. So I had sometimes, I would, I tried to recruit my brother and I call him my brother. My brother uh, is an economist, he did, he does like stock taking, this kind of job, he teaches at the university. And I was like, you know, we can create a better world for people who work. They are very miserable. You know, you were miserable as well. And we can cover that by training managers, by helping leaders to understand the problem. And he said to me, uh, as long as it makes like lots of money, I'm okay. So that's are my values. <laughs> and so that he wouldn't connect because it takes time to make money. So I was like, sorry. So. Every time I would meet somebody, there was like I would take the, them to coffee and stuff. Most of the discussion is actually about values. How do you see uh, money? How do you see product? How do you see work hours? Because if so, if you have a thing that okay, zangyo is not a problem, just work myself out. But the other person doesn't. You start to have clashes inside the company because you start to feel oh, I work so much more than the other person. And that, that, that kind of creates some unnecessary uh, discussion. You could have avoided by just not pairing up with uh, a person who just don't value. So the, the Power Ranger thing is they all have the same values but different skills, right? One kick, one punches, the other one has a sword kind of thing. But uh, this was, was kind of hard and I would get my teams and, and we discussed this a lot as well. What, why we do what we do? Then create test, remake, remake test for me. I remember I was helping this other startup and they do a a blog. Uh, no, they, they do a banking app for Windows PCs, Windows tablets, because you can bank, they have the bank. And I got to the guy and I said, okay, your marketing website's not very good, you should do blog, because blog brings up SEO, you're gonna get more people found. And then after a month, he called me and said, oh no, we did the blog, but the website didn't change at all. I was like, okay, let me see what you did. And he like wrote one blog post in a month. So there is this like testing and prototyping that you should keep, keep doing, there's no right answer. And I think that's what I learned most at Recruit as well. That, and people change as well. So sometimes you do a product like now, and a year from now the market change. There's other products similar. So you just keep, keep interacting. I, I make the joke that Facebook does that prototyping all the time, and they say that that's their receipt for, for success. And when people say, oh no, I already know what my client is, and a want, or I already know the product. I always think like, are you, you think you're better than Facebook? I remember once I was in um, in a meeting with um, in Sony executive, that kind of thing, and we were discussing about creating a product or iteration kind of thing. And there was the discussion like, if you are Steve Jobs. Maybe it's okay to do a product without interaction. But if you're not, like, <laughs> let's just do the, the, the other way. Although Sony has a way, uh, is way slower, Sony do iterate. So Sony had this philosophy of normally, you're just gonna get a good product on the third product. Have you heard about it? Do, can you imagine why? Why do you think? 